Hey y'all, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, 2010. Yep, we're into a new month. And uh, here's a brief summary of what we got on the website today. Please, to see the entire article, go to www.PhoneScholar.com and send me any questions at blogquestions at PhoneScholar.com. And those of you that watch us every day are probably getting tired of hearing that, so tell your friends so somebody else can listen to it also. And uh, today we have day two of the PhoneScholar.com holiday gift giving guide. And today's Bluetooth day. It just so happens that all four products today are Bluetooth. Three of the four are from Motorola, and I have truly come to the conclusion after trying out many, many Bluetooth products that Motorola really knows what they're doing with Bluetooth. So uh, if you're looking for something, most of us are driving in states now that require, or cities that require some kind of hands-free device to use the phone in the car. And taking your phone out like this, and holding it out like this and using the speaker, to be honest with you, will not, especially in California, will not absolve you of the law because that is not hands-free. And we all know that most speaker phones, especially on the new smartphones, are not really good enough to sit on a, the seat next to us and listen to. So check these out. They're rather inexpensive. They make some great gifts and people can use them for a long time. So the first one that's on there is the Motorola T505 in-car speaker. And I've been using one of these for about two, two and a half years. It is a tremendous product. It was, I literally tested uh, about 10 different car speaker phones, Bluetooth speaker phones in my car before settling on this one. And it has a push button right up top so it's really easy. You don't even have to take your eyes off the road to say, to make a call, to receive a call. It's got a tremendous two watt speaker. It was the loudest and most clear speaker of all the ones that I tried. Very easy to use. It does also add an FM tuner in there so if you do want to use and listen to the speakers in your car for voice conversations, you can. It'll tell you which is the clearest. You hit the button, it'll tell you which station to tune to, you tune to that station, and then you can actually use the car speakers in your car to use that. The drawback is that if a phone call comes in, it'll it'll interrupt the station or listening to because you have to change you have to change stations to listen to the radio. So that's a little bit drawback. You can also use it to listen to Bluetooth MP3 players. So tremendous product. Uh, it's there's a video for it. It's um, right now I think fifty eight or fifty nine dollars on Amazon. So really good. Next is a T three twenty five in car speakerphone, and this one's great. It doesn't have the same. Uh, it doesn't have the ability for the FM tuner or the Bluetooth. Uh, excuse me, or the MP3 player, but it's still a tremendous one. And the thing I like about this one, and it doesn't have quite the speaker that the T505 has, but it does have a real large button to send and receive calls with, so that makes it real easy. It uh, Obviously, like the T505, you can hook up your whole phone book to it. It'll tell you the incoming calls, stuff like that. So check that out again, a video on that. The video is a demo video, so it's a little bit long. I couldn't find a promo video for it, but it will show you everything it does. It also has what's called Direct Bing. Uh, where you can hook directly up to Bing for directions, things like that, which is a real cool feature. Next, the Plantronics Discovery 975 headset. Uh, one of the best headsets I've ever used. It's the only drawback for me is it's one goes in the ear and that really bothers me. And I'll tell you, the next one I'll show you an op, uh, different to it. But the, the carrying case is also a charging case. You can plug that in. Uh, so you have some place to put that and it actually will give you three times the amount of time to use. All of these, all four of these devices have tremendous battery life where you can use them for the full day or have them on standby for a couple of weeks before having to redo them. So again, the 975, also a demo video on this, check it out. And then finally, the Motorola H730 headset. And this is the difference with this headset is it fits on the ear, it doesn't go in the ear, which is what I like. And then there's a loop that goes around the ear. Now, the only drawback with that is you can't quite hear as well because obviously it's on the ear, there's some space as opposed to being in the ear. But if, you, if it's real bad, you can just kind of press down on it and you hear just fine. And the microphone real, works real well. It's a flip down microphone. So when you can turn the unit off without having to turn the whole unit off, you can just flip it on and it connects to your phone. You, you flip it back and you'll see what I mean. Um, and, it, you'll, and it explains it in the, in the article to shut it off. So again, a great, great unit. Uh, the only drawback I found with that series, since the 700 series, and I've been using them back from this, starting with the H700, is the thing that goes around your ear has a rubber part to it, and after a long bit of use, that kind of peels off, and I haven't been able to find any direct replacements for that, but if you take them into most shops or most stores, they'll have just that extra earpiece that they might be able to give to you, so check that out. Next, under uh, the next article, how to use AirPrint with an unsupported printer using Printopia. And for those of you who have downloaded the iOS 4.2 to your iPad, iPod, or iPhone, 
Uh, they, you now have the ability to print from those units. But if you don't have one of the special AirPrint HP printers, this app, Printopia, gives you the ability to go ahead and print to pretty much any printer. Looks like a really nice application. Uh, I do have a link directly to the site uh, on there. Uh, they do have a free seven day trial, and after that it's $9.95 a month. So it does get a little bit expensive because the printers, the HP printers uh, aren't running that expensive. I think the least, I haven't looked these up, so don't quote me, but I think you can get it for about $150. So um, again, 15 months worth you're paid for. So that's what you have to figure out. That's all I got for today. Check out tomorrow for some more uh, gift guides, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.